So hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a circular bar chart using the tool called Charticulator, which is a Microsoft developer tool that is free to use and allows you to create any chart and use it anywhere. Okay. In a previous video I showed you how to create a column chart linked there and down below and in this video I'll show you how to do a bar, circular bar chart. Okay, so go to charticulator.com Click on launch and then it will ask you for some sample data. The sample data that we're going to use today is actually, it needs to be a CSV. It is the Windows versions market share in December 2019. So here we have the versions, Windows 10, 7, 8, XP, Vista, another, the year, the month, and then the market share. Okay, so that's what we're going to visualize. Click on and if we go in here, as you can see, the shape or the main shape of the visualization is actually a rectangle. So that is what we're going to use first. We're going to draw rectangles in our canvas. You just drop it from here. And then as you can see, the canvas is, the, the axis is on the Y, so it's like inverted. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in there, plug segment, and then we're going to invert this instead of being like that is going to be like that. Okay. Now for every shape, we want to have the width as the market share, right? So the length of the rectangle should be the market share. And we want to have it biggest and then the smallest ones exactly like in here. So the biggest and then the smallest one. So nothing weird yet. Okay. And we want to have click on shape. Shape is the, the actual rectangle and we want to have the colors, the colors by version. So here we have the different versions and then there is the possibility to add a legend. So we can do that right away. Now, what we want to have is this bar chart in a circular form. So we are going to use scaffold circular. So just drop it in there and you see that it takes the bars and it just make it a circle. You can see here that we have the possibility to do like half chart. Uh, I mean the other one. <laughs> you can bend this any way you like, but be careful so you don't distort the actual visualization. There's people like doing like an arch like that. There are many ways to do it. So here we have it. We, we start looking as a radial bar chart. What we're going to do is we're going to minimize this a little because we want to have, there is such a big, so Windows, this is Windows 10, is such a huge outlier that, you know, the other ones are almost not visible as you can see. So for example, other is so small that you almost do not see it. But that's the thing with outliers, it's hard to visualize. So, what we want to do always with the chart, obviously you have a title, you have the legend, and then you have the data legends, right? So we're going to put data legends. Let me show you one thing. If we go in here, you can see here that the data legends are at the end of the rectangle, but that means that you have to do like that to, <laughs> to read them. And we don't want that, right? We want the person to be able to read it normally, like in horizontal form. I haven't found any way that if you put it in here to actually turn it around, so we're going to do it a slightly different way. I'll show you. So what we're going to do is let's do add the text first. We want to have it. If we want to do it, I'm going to show you how you can do it exactly the way they did it. You can put it outside. And then the text is way too long. So put it closer to the anchor. You can see. You can put it even closer. And then we can put these even closer in there. Okay, that's start to look like something, right? But the text is going to be market here. So you drop it here into the text. Here's where we are, right? And you can see that we have market here. You can actually add text to to the legend and you can see that it's like Windows 10 is 65% of all the Windows versions that are there in the market. And then we have uh, XP, Vista, I think it's, I would love to have the names, the legends in here rather than in here. So that's what we're going to do now. 
we're going to go to the other side in here and put a mark, a text. We're going to put it in there and we're going to do like that. Yeah. And then that text, this is the new text, we're going to put the versions. You can see this is a little bit easier actually. So I can actually remove the versions now from the legend. We don't need a legend. But something that I thought is like, okay, it is so hard to actually because those these things are too small, maybe they are still in the right place, but this and this is like upside down. So how about we put it next to here? So we put Windows 10 and then the market share. So it is easier to read. So this is what we're going to do. If we select, this is the text in here, right? So you can see here, this is first versions. We're going to put here Windows, like Win, Windows 10. And then here we're going to put a uh, semicolon. And you can see here that it says Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows XP, this, that, and other. And now here, after the semicolon, we're going to put these values. So how to put them? This is what I did. I went to here, the second, the um, to this text, this one, that is the, the one after the rectangle. And I basically copied whatever is set there. And then went back to our um, legend in here, and then I added it in there and click outside, all right, quite cool. So now we can actually get rid of, let's see how we get rid of the right one. That's the one that we need to get rid of. And probably make this a little bit smaller and a little bit closer, I think, to the actual, right? What do you think? Another thing that you can do is actually you can color this text. So you see color, you can put it by version. So they will have the same color. I don't know if it helps or not. It's a bit difficult. I don't like the, the font type. Uh, that's not that. Well, you know how it is. You can spend like a million years just tweaking things until you find something that is actually do you think that looks good? So maybe we should put it a little bit closer. And that's how it looks. Now let's change the title. This is Windows versions market share December 2019. And uh, what I tried to do, because I think that this would look nicer if it didn't like end up like a rectangle, that if it had like a uh, round thing. And I, I found actually these shapes that you can actually drop in there. I thought it was quite interesting. Let me show you. So you have this. Click there. And then you get, you see, you, you get a um, circle. And then you can actually make it bigger. It's a bit less. <laughs> That's not the easiest thing in the world, right? But you can actually make it like almost, let's see, we say 500, 600, and 50. Okay, so it's more or less, not really bad. And then we can make it the same color. If you go to shape, you can actually copy the color from there. This is a symbol. So the color should be that one. And you see, it looks a little bit more pretty, but because there is no data in here, you can't put the uh, circle in there. I thought it was, there would be maybe a half moon. There's not, and there's also another problem. There is no way to anchor these two together. So if you are going to use this as a dynamic visualization, the um, circle will just stay there basically which that's not what you want obviously you want these to move together with the other ones and it, it just doesn't so i actually tried to do it again 
and put it in flat and then put it there and I thought it would anchor before I did the circle but no they there's no way to anchor them together so this cannot be done this is the way that the chart would look and, <laughs> and that's all so this is the way to do it it's actually quite easy then I would love to be able to have like guides I haven't figure out how to have like, um, you know, these guides, but to have them circular. And I would like to have like pointed or a different end to the rectangular. So otherwise it's, it looks very, very good. So to save it, you just as, do as always. You can here save it to your chart. So we're going to call this radial bar chart. And uh, you can also You can also say export it as a HTML, as an image, as a particular template. You can export it as a Power BI custom visual, PNG, JPEG, SVG. You have all types of ways to export this and use it as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a go. It's actually quite fun to do. And why not use it in your visualizations? We will talk about how this chart should be used in later videos, okay? So this is just how to create it. This is all for today for me. Make sure you give this a go. These files are available for download. Just go down there. You will have the sample file, you will have the Charticulator template, and you will have a Power BI template too. But with the Charticulator template, you can export it as anything you like, okay? So link down below, go grab it. And I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care. Am I right?